Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Crisp Sessions. Yes. With not only me and not only Jamie Hutchinson. No, not only the Crisp. Not only the Crisps, which we'll go into later, but we've got a very special guest today, Jack Devaney. You all right? How's it going? All right, bro. Jack is a taxidermist. Uh, self-described bad taxidermist. Yeah, yeah, I don't see the point in it in making them look normal. She got Google and that. So if you if you want to see like a, a dead animal, you can go to a museum or just put in Google and see one alive. But if you want to see one with you know like more rustic, bits attached. So no, what... not even rustic, well very very modern. If you want to see like a di- uh, a duck with tits, or <laughs> I once made a, what I called a breasted centaur. Where I got a, a dead mink and then about three quarters of a dead rat and connected them like you would like the turns of like a, a sewerage pipe, and then made some fake tits out of scrotums for it. Fake tits out of scrotums. Yeah. Do you know that's how they thought the duckbill platypus was made? Yeah, they thought it was what, a out con. Of innit? They, th- <laughs> they thought it was a joke thing. Oh really? They thought it was like some postmodern taxidermy, but alive. Really? Yeah, they said there's oh, no wow. way this is real, in it. But what were they like? This is the live one. Yeah. <laughs> they brought this one back. It's in a cage. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Munro kind of thing. That fella off of South Park who attaches asses to everything. <laughs> yeah. They thought the, the duckbill platypus was so, so fucked up, mangled. They thought it was like AI. Yeah, <laughs> they went, nah. This is this is a joke. This. All right. The first walrus this stuff. They didn't know it had wrinkles and that, so they just inflated it like a balloon. So yeah. it was this massive, huge fucking ball of skin. They, what, they, they inflated it like a balloon. Made, like they overstuffed it, so there was no. They didn't. No one thought to oh, draw a picture or make it. I thought you meant while it was alive. No, no, no. <laughs> just, what, just stuffing crisps down. <laughs> yeah. They fucking made it into this massive balloon for a while. People thought that's how it was. Apparently, until one of the guys came back and went, "What the fuck have you done this for?" They looked nothing like. Everyone was like, "This is a terrifying news." Is there a um, like a hierarchy in taxidermy? Is there like people you look up to in terms of like, oh, he's he's like, you know, the Van Gogh of taxidermy? There was a guy called Walter Potter that used to make, like, get loads of dead kittens and make them play little games. And... Oh my God, that's so He was well, like cool. sex game. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know, prob- I, I don't, I've not seen most of them. I know there was a croquet, but you've got to think he's at least positioned them a couple of times, isn't it? Like going down on each other and stuff. I'd like an owl on a desk. An owl on a desk, like that. Yeah. Potter, sort of. I'd like a little owl. Do I like a If I was going to have a stuffed animal. Would you have a use for it or just like ornamental? Maybe like a paperweight. A paperweight. But do you know to give me some. Yeah, but you could use its mouth as a hole punch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that little beat there. Just. So, Jamie, you, you don't know really anything about Jack's work, do you? No. I, 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 I'm, I'll be honest. I'm, I've got a f- bit of a thing about dead animals because I nearly stood on a dead cat once right. on the on a come down. Yeah. And it just sort of like I'd oh I'm, I'm gonna be the dead cat soon. You know when you're having these <laughs> existential thoughts. You thought you were gonna be the dead cat. I went I nearly stepped into a dead cat and because I was on a massive come down I thought, like what am I doing with my life, man? Right. Do you know what I mean? Was that the first dead cat you'd seen? Yeah, it's definitely yeah. Up How there, old yeah. were you then when you saw about your first 18, dead cat? Right. That's mad that because I was only a little kid when I first saw my first dead cat. We got through. Did you quite kill it though? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> we lived on a main road, didn't it? And they just used to get flattened, and then you go out to go to school and that, and there'd just be a cat with like bits of its face oh on my the God. path and that. Nah, man. Does that not have? Did that not freak you out as a kid? Just nah, saying, I was upset because I don't normal. have my cat no more. Each time, but each time it got less and less bothered by it because oh. my mum would just go and get a new one from weirdly enough the pet shop in Northington. They used to sell cats out of the back room. It was actually the ninth time that was the worst. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know it's gone for good. It's gone for good. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I were massive. My, I, well, I've seen me, me goldfish commit suicide. How? It, Little toaster. Yeah. <laughs> 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 back in the world. <laughs> oh, that'd be a mint art. Can you touch it at me a fish? Yeah, I, I used to put, well, I do it sometimes, I call them fossils, sort of like fake fossils, or so fish, and then you get mouse, rip mouse legs off, cut a load of the flesh in the top half of the skin off, and then poke them into the fish's body to give them legs and arms, make them look like, like little mad dinosaurs and that. <laughs> I, I think what would really help at this moment is if you oh, saw really some of the work. Oh, I really don't want to see it, man. 
Should so, we... uh, just to be clear, are you on a come down or a hangover I'm not, today? I'm not, no, no. Are we feeling particularly fresh. delicate? Or... I'm fresh, but I'm, I'm, oh. I think you will be tomorrow because I think you're going to need a drink after I'm this. A, I'm a bit uneasy <laughs> with dead animals. I'm going to put it around here not to ruin any surprises for you. Don't see you can't acclimatise. Where should we? You've got a bit of an idea, Tom. Where should we sort of start? I, I think I think dealer's choice, mate. Whichever one you think. Oh, we'll go for this one first, then. I've already seen these because Jack's been on Devil. <laughs> <talking. laughs> what is it? You've got to be putting that on, bro. What is it? It's a toilet brush, lad. But what's the leg? Like made Day. out of Day's leg, yeah. Oh, right. And a little right. bit of duckling up here, just to. It's you know, actually tidy quite up. artistic. Thank you. It's beautiful. Have Do a feel of it. Rub? I don't want to touch well, this. Rub, rub his leg. I don't oh, want to rub his leg. Oh no, because he's well, straight. That's not animal. skin there. That's just like keratin or whatever. Toes. It's a, no, yeah, yeah. You eat animals though all the time. Yeah, but, no, oh, but I don't you... scrub my toilets with them. <laughs> well, maybe you should start. <laughs> it? I like. I, I I admire the craftsmanship. To be fair. Oh, but honestly, feel the back of the leg. It's so good. Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh, you're grabbing his arm. Stop it, hey, man! Oh my god! I'm I don't scared. like it. I don't like fur. Oh, this is gonna be an hard hour for you. And it's not for it. I just find it weird. <laughs> What's weird about it? <laughs> what is weird? Going toilet. Like. This is the podcast where we talk about weird obsessions. I know. Oh, listen, I'm not judging. It's just for it's my own. You, know, you can judge your way. You go and what do you reckon's wrong with me there? And if you wanna. No, it's shrink. my. It's my. It's my own neuroses. Um, I, I admire the, the craftsmanship and the inventiveness of it though definitely you said you're scared of the idea of dead birds so oh I'm gonna God, we're gonna God. tiptoe towards more of a dead bird I've got a little bit of a dead bird for you it's one of these man it's called a little sausage man so I wish I hope they can see your face so on this because of the way you're looking what? there you look genuinely confused bro. what what thing that, that looks like me out of the shower <laughs> It's duckling skin, a bit of duckling feather. I do like it though. Like it. Well, What's you the could... pink pink? Silicon. Oh, right. Not flash or anything, that'd be... So it's got little pubes in it. That do, I'd, I'd have that as a key ring. Yeah? That is... That is good. Do, do you sell them as key rings? Nah, but I might start. <laughs> do you want to turn it into a key ring? You want I, it? I you can have my, it if you want that. I think my, um, my misconceptions are being blown away. Right, yeah. Because uh, I thought it was literally just, you know... Do the eerie ones like you see, like the cliche ones that like you see on a on a wooden pedestal thing. Yeah, you're thinking it's just going to be taxidermy that's done badly. Yeah, someone who's oh, doing no, it. Oh no, but yeah, good I like these are little cute things. That's a good way to remember an animal. Do you like when someone's granddad dies and they make him into an egg timer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> an egg timer. <laughs> That's what I mean, though. He loved boiled eggs. <laughs> just his head on a desk with yeah. his tongue out. You just twist the tongue yeah. round. Well, he was starts assault. ticking down. He's at the last minute when it, when the bell goes, his eyelids yeah. open. Imagine well, he was a soldier. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine that? You went to a company and just went, yeah, but like to not like that. <laughs> what are you doing? That's just like, I, I mean, know. I mean, to be to be fair, that's just. Duck's hair, right? Well, yeah. so you could make that out of a skin is there. Oh, the skin, skin is there. Well, you could make out of You could shave your ducks down, get a shaved duck. Yeah. <laughs> and then you could use them again and again. We do it with sheep. Yeah, yeah. Start shearing ducks. What do we make sheep? Imagine that, mate, at the con- like the country fair and that. It's just like some mentalist stood there. I imagine he'd have like blackout glasses on. I don't know why, but I imagine him to look a bit like a blind man. And he's just there shearing down well, ducks. I'd be fucking duck. Me. Oh, you might pluck a duck, but if you wanted it all, you'd want it. You can pluck a dead one. It takes a while, and it's best wearing rubber gloves. I used to have to do it at the butchers because they got the downing. If you don't do it with rubber gloves, you basically got to do it twice. You just well, end I up getting cramped. I'll stay on. Yeah, you got like regular feathers there, and then underneath is like this sort of shit here, where it's a bit more like fur. Just to be clear, you worked at the butchers. You didn't. Yeah, just I didn't go just go used to break in and, not, and just like mess with the dead stuff. No, or I take your there. own ducks there. <laughs> I just like the smell. <laughs> <laughs> They're still alive. <laughs> yeah. Taking them home, making them little coats out of rat. Yeah. What was the first thing you taxidermed? Yeah, I did it with a little mouse. I did it with my girlfriend in my mum's back garden. We came so up from old you. How old was I was about 22, 21, 22. How we were, old are you now? I'm 29. Oh, fairly new in the game. Yeah. Well, you're a professional taxidermist now, right? That's your yeah, yeah. Thing. I would describe this as my trade. Yeah. Like, I'd, I'd learned how to do butchering and gardening and stuff, but this is much more So do you get either. requests for things? Yeah, but I try not to do that, because people are either mental and want stuff that's just weird, what, like, what even by my standards. There was a guy, the one that stands out the most is a guy that wanted a fox raping a badger, but he described it as a fox interfering with a badger. 
Uh, and then when I told him you can't really do badges, he immediately <laughs> switched switched it to a hedgehog. So it didn't. The animals didn't matter. I could have told him no fox lad, and he would have gone, "All oh, right, well, a cat then a cat rape and a hedgehog would have been fine for him." I reckon. I reckon he's about. If you'd have told him three animals that he can't do, he'd have just gone to people. I Maybe reckon yeah, yeah he'd just get guy, sick but... of it and be like me, Auntie Deborah, and, <laughs> and jump me. from up is the way. Is there any other cat about taxidermy person? If I did it really well, I want to be taxidermed and stuck in my house as a coat rack grey area it's a grey area yeah there was a guy called Robert Lenkovic an artist from Plymouth uh, and he knew an homeless guy that he used to take buddies to the store he goes he lived on a tip and then he uh, the homeless fellow was like when I'm dead you can do what you want with my body now I don't know if the homeless guy just hadn't been touched in a while and was hoping that you know Lenkovic might just slip him one when he was dead but he ended up keeping him in a drawer a draw. Yeah, yeah. Police used to come round apparently and have a look at it and be like, you can't have this, mate. But apparently it was fine because he'd signed certain paperwork. I've had loads of people, nutters, send me messages saying that when I die, mate, I've signed things to say that my body's coming to you. And I hope to fuck the chatting shit in it. But, you know, because <laughs> oh, if they all, imagine if they all turned up a couple of weeks, one would after the other. Would you draw a line well. at that morally? Or would you not, like, mor- not, not morally, no. Just legally. Yeah, le- the legality of it, yeah, that's a bit of a thing. But I don't think I would have really have any qualms with chopping up a dead person that I didn't know and didn't have an hand in killing. <laughs> I think just the logistics would of you? it as well. Like, yeah, yeah. Like if you got three, if you, and... like, because you've got like a, a studio, right, where you, you yeah. do where you work. So if uh, if you get a body delivered and someone sees that you're getting a body delivered who's in like the next mm. office, and then you get another one the next day, yeah, they're gonna. Or a whole family that's signed up to it and they've all died in a car crash. So I just get a bag of like bits. Yeah. Just of all these different kids' heads and that. Oh, they did like a mass suicide. I once, I once, uh, once went and picked up, there was this fella that used to shoot foxes for a farmer. And he, instead of chucking, because he found out if you chuck him in a bush, all you end up with is more like badges and shit coming and harassing the livestock. So he, he, I met him through some weird fucking cultish breakfast thing I got invited to, which was a bit like... Um, dinner for schmucks but at like half six in the morning it turned out uh, they went a few times but anyway I met him through that and he gave me I got this guy's number and I ended up getting a bag of a couple of dead foxes off him and then I brought them back to my old studio but I had to park in front of it and it's near a load of bars and that so there was people I got out of the car and went to the back of my car and grabbed out this bag of dead foxes clear, he'd left them in a clear bag big clear <laughs> bin bag and these two people one of them like I like pupils like fucking two pence pieces mate and the other lad was like staggering and they both just saw this bag of dead foxes oh and God. looked at me and then looked back took a step back and crossed over and I had never felt so powerful not since I was like 13 <laughs> with me Rottweiler on a chain now yeah. you just carry dead foxes around just, yeah, just, yeah, just to keep do one it. in the car that just is a strong case. image though innit <laughs> yeah. I think maybe that's what women should do when they're walking home at night oh, I just have a rape alarm I'll get a dead fox out no, just swing no it around man measuring is, rooms no man is raping a woman who's got a bag of dead foxes nah oh. but the ones that are are going to be fucking relentless though yeah. aren't they yeah I suppose yeah you're not going you're going to keep away the like the other goes but yeah. the the ones who do it sort of like professional, well not professional is the wrong word, but <laughs> yeah, the, the ones, ones that are really into it. it. Yeah. The ones that have done it a few times and are like, I need a bit of a thrill now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the kinky raper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just wish I was carrying some fucking dead animals. <laughs> I want the smell of old flesh, me. <laughs> um, I, I'd like now to you to show Jamie, and I don't want to give it away too much, the, the uh, pencil sharpener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This yeah, is... <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Oh my god! I didn't expect that, mate. If you're acting, mate, that's incredible, and you should get a. Oh my god! I don't. Look at its eyes, mate. It's got no. go- it's got, got googly, googly eyes. eyes. It's got googly eyes. Do you not think that takes the edge off? No. I I admire I, again. It's if inventive, that, but oh my god! You man. don't. You've not even seen the inventive bit of it yet. Well, it opens up down case. the back. Like that. What'd you get out of that year seven? <laughs> I've, I've genuinely had one person buy one of these off me, so that if you took, you couldn't take your kid out of school without getting some like a, a big fine for it. Yeah. But the kid kept taking one of these to school to get suspended and <laughs> acting up with it. He got suspended for a week and then they went on holiday and saved themselves on the fine. That is a genius move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried selling him like that as well, but no one really went for it. <laughs> get out of school. Have with you this. got a pencil? Because I think you've nicked me. I've not got a pencil. I remember. Um... Well, we're going to have to pretend. Yeah. We're well, going. But it's got. A... I've got a pencil sharpener up its arsehole where its ball sack used to be. So I mean, uh, sentences you think you're going to hear in life. 
But it, it worked. I've tried it. Yeah, open this. It's just it's just it's just a little locket. What's that, what's that made out of? <laughs> that, that's probably some form of nickel. He's just touching. It's just metal. So for those listening, he's oh. just tapping the metal. So terrifying. You, you, so you just put that in. Well, just have an open it up, bro. Oh no! What is it though? Is it a oh. dead animal? Part of one. Oh my god! It's so fine. What, what's uh, you, honestly? This is, anything, this is one of the nicer ones, I think. Is this gonna jump out at me? Like, them fucking no, snakes? not like them fucking no, no. Oh, that'd be a, that's a fucking mint idea, though, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll be making that on for me shop next week. Like come here, give it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I don't want to do it. I'm so nervous. I don't like shocks. There's no shock. It's There's no shock. shock. It's, it's like not, when I watch it's Paranormal not, Activity. It's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. Did open, you used to get scared watching open, Most Haunted as a kid? Yeah, open it for me. It's just... What is it? It's just fur. It's, it's oh. rat ball sack. Oh, sorry, rat ball sack. <laughs> the, my scrotum pendants. Oh. <laughs> you don't want a scrotum pendant? I don't want a scrotum. Do you want to give it a little rub, Jamie? It's good lucky. Good luck. Is it good luck? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to have a successful tour of this. Yeah, it's the patron saint of stand Oh, my tours. God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you go. know um, when I first went on Dead Men Talking, pre, pre-Dead Men Talking, um, they, they showed me a video that got banned, I don't know if you ever saw it, of the guy shagging the dead rap. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think that is. And it yeah. looked exactly like that. Did it? And I went out afterwards, and I was just sat in a bar on my own, I was sat in the back, I was out with friends, so I was just sat on the table on my own, just really hollowed out. And my mate was like... Like that rat? <laughs> <laughs> and my mate went, can a sharpen pencil in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> and my mate went, it's, it's everything all right with you? He went, you just... I went, I'm just gone. All my skin yeah. had gone. I'm just really horny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's something about the animals, man. Just that, to detach that's yourself. weird. You're weird thinking <laughs> that about dead animals. <laughs> oh. Anyway, what el- what else is in your little box? I didn't really didn't expect this from you. I did you? This is amazing. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be into it, laughing and that, but I feel like I've just ruined your day. You have ruined my day. It's great. Ruined his year. I, I had, oh, would you like to have a go of it? You don't have to really. Oh, oh, nah, the skin will only touch your wrist. Fucking no chance. No, you don't like a fox's head made into a glove puppet, then no, not for you. You see, the thing is with this one, it reminds me of Bodger and Badger, and that brings mashed potato Mash. connotations. Oh, oh right. So, this, so the, the fox's severed head is reminding you of mashed potato. You know, because it reminds me of Bodger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's a different animal, but it's yeah. a severed head with can, a hand in it. Yeah, go for it. Oh, my God. Oh, I like it. Is it going for? It is, actually. I feel like I could play baseball with this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the eyes as well. Hello. I was hoping they'd glow in the dark, but I probably should have checked that before I used them. Yeah. They don't. Oh well, you can use. Mm. What did you do with the original fox's eyeballs? Uh, they will have gone to the incinerator. You take them to like a knackering yard and not get oh, them sent okay. to there, and they get burnt. Right. Is it, do you, much, would you do anything with eyeballs, or are they like? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to see some eyeballs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to see eyeballs now. <laughs> yeah, I got this. this is my, it's, what, what are they? I call them heads of tails. It's chicken eyes and mouse tails. Baby chicken eyeballs. What's it in? Resin, like a plastic. Oh, it's like a nice sad face. Yeah. yeah, I've got happy faces, sad faces, and okay faces. I like that. That's oh, I, the thing is, I don't want my reaction to come across as insulting. No, I don't <laughs> care. I get much worse than that. Because <laughs> don't you worry. Because I I admire the the inventiveness of what to do with them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the imagination is incredible. But I just yeah, it's just a shock to see. It's just not for you. A fox's head as a dog toy. Continuing the stationary theme, could you do? Because I thought when I first saw those eyes and that tail, I thought it was in a rubber, like an eraser. It'd be pretty grim though, because then once you burn through oh, the no, rubber, yeah. you just end up with a rotten eyeball, because that's going to heat yeah. up as yeah, well in the rubber. Yeah, but then that would really motivate you not to make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Return business as well. That's how we teach kids to learn. If you make too many mistakes, you've got to carry around these eyeballs for the rest of the year. <laughs> You've not capitalised that pronoun. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> one more till the eye. <laughs> Little Sally's like, what <laughs> should we do with a pencil? Also, it. You want to see it sharpen? Yeah. It all comes out me like it's shit. <laughs> that is amazing. That is have, have you ever said to anyone, do you, want, do you want me to sharpen this pencil with this rat's bum hole? Has anyone ever said no? Yeah, 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 when I've tried doing arts markets and that. I don't get accepted to that many arts markets because people worry that I'll upset people and that with it. Right. And other people say this isn't really what we want. There's a town called Totnes where I tried to apply for a Christmas oh, it's on market. South West, yeah, Cottonwood. yeah, down in Devon. And they said, um, you can't, we, this isn't really what our town's ethos is. Right. Having like dead rats <laughs> on the table. And I got pissed off and was like, what are you on about? And then I got quite like fixated on it and ended up listing all the fishmongers, leather workers, butchers in the area and that. And I got banned from taking part in events at Totnes by the mayor. That's a very good point, really, because there's no difference to you making a pencil case out of no. that than a leather wallet. No, no. It's essentially just carrying stuff it's just got the, It's still yeah, got the, 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 the hair on it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So well, yeah, I mean, if you made a, uh, a wallet out of a full cow, that yeah. would be probably excessive. Yeah, yeah. No one's got that much stuff either. No, no. Well, that, like, that sounds like up. a Balenciaga product, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. A full maybe. cow wallet. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to be really rich to have that. You've got to have a team to carry it around with you. Don't know. <laughs> um, what um, is your favourite animal to use? I like rats because you can. I like the idea of how much stuff can you make out of rats because you can make airy danglers, which are these little balls with elastic on to put in your car mirror. Uh, mm. It's your little balls, and then uh, you can take the tails as well, make little wrigglers. So it's like a little snake creature out of the tail and a bit of like its back skin. And that. where'd you get your supplies from? Pet shops, they sell them dead oh, in it to, yeah, to oh, feed the snakes okay. and stuff. Oh, right. Good. And some stuff's off pest controls and estate managers. Like people that kill moles and squirrels and that does, you can get them in the post. What's the most uh, exotic? I used to put, uh, I, I, right, so the pet shop had this weird woman who decided that her bearded dragons had bred and that she was going to hatch the eggs. And then as soon as they hatched, she was like, I don't, I don't want you know a dozen baby bearded dragons. I'm going to take them to the pet shop and give them to him. But she took them in a little tiny Tupperware box in the middle of winter with a little bit of water in and they all died on the way there. So he ended up with these in his freezer and was like, oh, I'll have them meat. So I set them in resin like the eyeballs, but on little crucifixes in the resin. Oh, that's probably that's the most exotic. Do you little Jesus lizards? That's a nice little uh, artistic, real, religious point. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's just, well, I mean, you've got like the lizard people theory and stuff like that, <laughs> but also like Easter was coming up and I needed Quite something layered. for Easter. Oh, it's layered, very layered. <laughs> Anyway, what's your favourite crisps? <laughs> uh, probably chili wave, chili eat wave Doritos. Good crisps. Uh, good crisps. Oh, yes. or, or the barbecue Pringles, but you've got to be feeling you like you're ready to treat yourself to get them. They're a party crisp, mate. What, um, what animal do you think would make a good crisp packet? <laughs> little moles, mate. Hollow out a little mole. And then you've got little... Like, like, oh. Imagine if you could have miniature skips the size of magic stars and you could have them in a little bag of moleskin. Can we? And you can say no if you want. I think something reptilian. Right, or okay. amphibious. Jokers, the texture. Too old. Yeah, they'd last a while. Like a little frog frog packet. Yeah, maybe. Like a bullfrog. Yeah, bullfrog's good. Yeah, yeah. Or a snake for Pringles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> snake for Pringles is good. Could we? And you can say no if you want. Can I put some of those crisps in that rat and eat the crisps out of the rat? Uh, if you don't get fucking like grease on the fur because it's bought and paid for, oh, you, right, okay. you, if you got a little Hoover afterwards, you I've got a Hoover afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Just don't fucking like. Obviously, don't lick the skin around. Okay, I'm not gonna lick the skin. I'm mm-hmm. going. I'm thinking of using it as like a little bowl. Yeah, yeah. Just don't go mad on it, innit? Because like I say, so it, it belongs to someone. Chip shop curry sauce McCoys today. Would you like a bag of chip shop curry McCoys with that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't really say that. Chip shop curry sauce McCoys. It's a novelty flavour. Yeah. I thought, yeah, it's a very novelty flavour. And so I'm going to eat them out of this wrap. You smell nice, is not it? Very careful. That's a good mm. crisp bowl, I think. Probably might be quite good for dieting as well. But eh? Dieting and portion control. That's a good point. This will stop you. That, this might stop your missus from taking your crisps off you. Yeah? Mm. Might make you eat less as well. Mm. You're thinking, I don't really want to eat them now that they've been in a dead rot. Oh, my God. 
Can you taxidermy a bee? You can preserve them. Yeah. But you can't really skin them and that. It's just sort of like a juice inside of bugs, isn't it? I was stung by a bee last yeah. week. Could you? Did it still hurt after a while? Yeah, yeah, it's still yeah. hurting now. It's like a week yeah. ago. Yeah. I, was, I always thought it was just like a kid thing when you get stung, it hurts for a bit like nettles and then you forget about it. But I've not been stung, stung as an adult. Wasp, not bees. I don't know, this one fucked me up. It was in my hood and then it, was, it, it started raining. Put my hood up, didn't know there was a bee there. Stung me in the back of the head. It's weird we, we're up. speaking about taxidermy um, because a couple of nights ago I woke up in cold sweats because I had a nightmare about a stuffed bee. Okay. Is that where that came from then? That yeah, question, so yeah. this big bee was following me around and my mum was like, Oh you need to, we need to get the queen bee and Freddie, funny enough, got it out of my cupboard and it was like this bee mummified. Right. But huge one. Joe that wasp Pokemon. Yeah, bee drill. Yeah, sort of. Bee drill. Vespi Queen. Yeah, baby bee drill. Yeah. With a big head. Well like an alien head. And it's got little drills on his hands, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it was that yeah. massive and cocooned, and Freddie Quinn got it out of my cupboard for me. Oh. When the Queen said, "Now you'll be sound." <laughs> what do you think it means? Well, I googled what does dreaming about bees mean. Yeah. It's apparently positive. Okay. Yeah. And so now you. Because I have connotations with work ethic and stuff. It sounds a lot. Yeah, but it the mummification very... in that. that mum... Yeah, maybe my my work's been stifled. Yeah, I think it sounds very death heavy because bees hurt. Mm. Freddie nearly died mm. and he killed the queen. Yeah. So, maybe you're going to die? Well, if I do, um, please buy our coffee. <laughs> buy me a coffee to pay for the funeral cost. Yeah. Well, <laughs> funeral cost, we could just get you stuffed. Isn't it, yeah? I've got space do, in me for years. Do another sandwich with me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make Jamie's head the same as that fox head? And I'll just use it as a glove puppet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take off a bit of his skin here to like maybe down to his like chest. So it yeah. covers up your arm quite nicely, like one of them Godzilla puppets from the late nineties. Yeah, get. yeah. What would what would you um do with my body in your inventive taxidermy way? It'd be good if you could get your arm with a little keyhole socket, like a keyhole joint, so you could pop it on the wall and then you'd put um like a something like this in it with a bend. So you've got something to shake hands and sell it for virtual meetings. Yes. <laughs> you rent them out. You rent out the pair, innit? <laughs> you put it like on your laptop. Yeah, yeah. yeah attach yeah. it to the wall behind. <laughs> at the end of it, nice to meet you. And you each, yeah, yeah. You just each see this dead guy's hand, just the fingertips rubbing and. Well, or if you're camera. a germaphobe and you go into a job interview and you're like, "Oh, I'm going to shake some hands," <laughs> he just, just whipped that out. You. <laughs> Pulling it out like a shotgun on GTA. Just out of hand. Yeah, I don't know what germaphobe will have a seven <laughs> hand to avoid being touched. Well, it's very clean. Yeah. Keeps it very clean. It puts it in cellophane and stuff. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. <laughs> the germaphobe seven hand. <laughs> that sounds like a JML product, doesn't it? A, a job interview of all places. <laughs> Do you have any special requirements for this interview? Uh, yes, I will be bringing my severed hand. <laughs> Don't think she's a hand on. <laughs> you have a severed hand rack. <laughs> um, what um, is there any animal, obviously that, that that you'd love to do more than any other animal, like a ridiculous anything? anything? Panda uh, sofa, beanbag panda. Nah, it's, it's, but it still looks like a panda, isn't it? Mm. Nah, it's oh, a bit you want to change? Yeah, yeah, I want to be. So I, I'd rather so people look at it and they're like, "What is that?" Like, if you're gonna go bear, like you know, like a sun bear, it's got that weird crescent thing there. Yeah. Imagine if you could put a little DVD player slot in there. <laughs> like the rest of it's just a bear, and then there's just a scart lead coming out the back of it to your telly. I think. It's... Oh, so it's not got a screen. It's just got the yeah, DVD yeah. It's player. just a DVD player, like three foot in the air. So you still have to attach it to a TV. Yeah, yeah. Could you not put a TV in it as well, like a telly TV? Yeah, but then you're wasting well, all that bear, innit? Like, what do you do with that, then? I'd be more judgmental off someone having a DVD player in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> you have a stuffed bear. Yeah, they make it a DVD player and then put that in the loft. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's streaming and stuff. <laughs> I like that. I like incorporating technology in stuff. Yeah. Like a toaster in a rabbit. I, you want to oh, yeah. But show him a little rabbit toaster. Good. No. <laughs> it's mad that you'll eat out of it all, man, and not, not touch it. Well, the things I'll do for Chris, man. Uh, have, a little, have a little rub of his tail. It feels nice. 
It's a nice texture. You're saying like the reptiles were eating crisps out of. It's got a nice feel to oh, it. Oh my god. Go the other way. Go like you, it's like you're trying to stroke a cat backwards, like you got something wrong. Like with that. You. There you go. Yeah. Is that what tails are made out of? I don't understand the question, bro. <laughs> They're made out of tails. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how to answer that, innit? That sound that's mental. So here's the rabbit toast. No, there. I mean is that sort of rat's tail, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah of but, course. But aren't rat's tails pink? They're all different colours, man. It oh, depends I on the rat, innit? Oh, right, yeah. okay. I don't see colour. <laughs> <laughs> Not racist when it comes to rat's tail. Uh, this is the rabbit toaster. I mean, that is pretty impressive, isn't it? It's impressive. It's... It took a rabbit and a bit. I thought I'd be able to do it out of one rabbit, but it just needed a little bit more of another rabbit. Oh, but only right. about like whatever that is. Is like that what you use at home? Or is it just on no, the... fuck no. It'd burn your house down, that. Oh, would it? Yeah, oh, very dangerous. So it's not a, so it's not a, a working toast. It was, and then once I sold it, I stripped the electrics out of it just in case someone comes back off the face and wants to show off to someone they met in the pub. Yeah. And I like, watch this, and then they just set on fire. Do you have any any stuff that is workable that people can buy? Uh, sometimes I'll make staplers out of mine. Oh yeah, come on. Bits like that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, electrical stuff. I tell you what, make a good staple. Staple. What? A crocodile's head. It would. Oh, it would. That'd be class. Yeah. I'd never stop using it. I'd just be constantly looking for stuff to stay. Just folding paper <laughs> over and over. <laughs> It'd be good to touch as well, not just the. You really want to touch reptiles, innit, bro? No. You keep going on about it. Well, I don't. I haven't thi- got them. Don't no, worry. No, There's the none thi- in there. The thing is, I like the idea of wanting to touch them. Right. But I remember when I was on a lad's holiday. I was in the span. Do you know, have like, like you have your picture taken with a snake? Yeah, yeah like a shopping center. I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't notice this guy was in the bar. And the snake licked my elbow and I nearly fainted. Okay. Because it just stuck its little tongue out. It sounds like something. a bit, yeah. That's yeah. why you nearly fainted. No, it just like... Just licked you. I went, what the fuck's that? I thought it was a raindrop at first. Yeah. I thought, what the fuck's that? And then he turned around and the snake in my face. So when you when so when so you thought it was a raindrop, I assume you weren't scared. But when you when you realised it was a snake, but the did shock, you freak out? Yeah, the shock of seeing a snake when you're expecting rain. Yeah, I suppose it is. It's raining snakes. <laughs> that is... Yeah, unexpected. Um, what uh, have you had anything that you've tried to do that has just been too difficult? Uh, I tried to make a, I think it was a rabbit into uh, one of the old one of them automatic air fresheners. And I just couldn't get it to not spray the air freshener on the skin, so I never finished it and just took it apart. Made oh, I couldn't get through it. the old. Could get it through the hole, but the air freshener, no matter what, even like a little plastic shot glass and medication cups and stuff around it to shield the skin, the liquid still found a way to go onto the skin or drip down onto it. So they just fucked it over time. All right. Made it smell of whatever, like sea salt or whatever you had in it. And what's your biggest seller? What do you sell the most of? Because these are all for sale on your website. Which yeah, is, yeah, yeah. What's it called, your website? Worldaroundyou.com. With EWE, though, not like the person. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, the biggest seller. The, the fucking sausage men have been doing well recently because they're only like six quid. Right. People love the they little duck pubes. There's a... I can't... It's hard to say. Whatever it, these things will sell. I make tournaments and they tend to go... I made one that I managed to sell twice because someone bought it and then within half an hour they sent me an email saying my missus has just found out I've bought something called a pedo keeping score and she's saying I can't have it in my house. <laughs> so I had to give him his money back and then sold it to someone else. What... The pedo keeping score. It was Have this you weird a pedo. <laughs> no, no. It was this weird ceramic ornament of what looked like maybe a monk with all in his shoe, and he was holding up a placard that said six nippers, and his head was all scratched and chipped. So I cut its head off with my Dremel and replaced it. Made a big head out of like all different skins and stuff. Can't quite remember exactly what. And I called it a pedo keeping score because of that six nippers sign. Because I don't know what else that would be for. Yeah, anyway. What's he What's he showing off about with that? Or what's he protesting? Six nippers. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I don't know. The only thing I could think of was like he's back in China before they were like you can only have the one, and he said no, I need yeah, one six. Yeah. <laughs> what do we want? Five more kids. <laughs> <laughs> People lying in the streets. We want more kids. <laughs> Looking at the spaces around them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what is the general reaction that people give when they? It's, 
I know it sounds like cliche if that's the word, but it cuts people down the middle, innit? People are either like that's I mean it cuts or, them down the middle, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they're like, this is fucking hanging, you're disgusting, you're a monster. Yeah. I get messages like that all the time. I used to get death threats a lot. And yeah. normally it'd be old people, man, sending you death threats. One of them was off this little old woman who told me that she was she wanted she wished or hoped that someone had put meat hooks in the backs of me calves and dangle me upside down and bleed me out. And I was like, you what? I sent her a message back. <laughs> it was so specific, man, so specific. And I sent a message back saying something like, you could never fucking lift me over your shoulder. <laughs> like, it, was just, it was crazy. It was like a paragraph about it. I used to get a lot of that. I had some girl in Birmingham saying that she knows where I live. I've never, I don't think I've ever stopped in Birmingham apart from nipping off for a cig on the bus. And they fucking, they knew, they said they know where to live. They're sending the brother around now. And I was like, mate, that is not me. You're going to be beating someone up saying this is for the mice. <laughs> and he's going to be like, what the fuck are you on about? Putting pencil sharpens up his That'd eye. be so scary. <laughs> Taxidermy vigilante, that's a, that's a good cartoon, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I've got it out to big taxidermy and stuff. So, are all, do you ever... Kill the animals yourself or the old. No, dead. I'm not weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely not weird. Um, and I, I mean, I just love this rap, man. It's so good. <laughs> Do you reckon I, we can make him rock back and forth if I get something else on? Let's be trying. Oh, oh yeah, like a fucking, fucking metronome. What about just like that? I like the little. I think it's because it's the in sign. full body shape. Oh, okay, so when it's, it's like it's disembodied, like... it's all right. Yeah. Listen, my moral compass is all over the place. I don't really have a moral issue with it. I just find it striking. Disgusting. Oh, okay. Not disgusting. Oh. I find it striking. Yeah, yeah. I, I get what you mean because that one looks like a rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got crisps in it now, but it's yeah. like you know when you get to if you get to fish and it's like it's head on. I have the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sort of reaction, I suppose. Well, I don't have any. Moral crimes. How really do you feel about Billy Bearham? <laughs> <laughs> and turkey dinosaurs. <laughs> Fish fingers in a way. Yeah, um, yeah it's, just the, it's just the striking nature of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, what else have you got in your box? There's, there's one that uh, I really like the chick. Yeah, I I'll, I'll get that out in a second, so I'm just grabbing your brew. Have a look at that. See if you work out what that is. It's only plastic, so you can't feel it. Go on, grab it. Um, Be brave, James. Go on. Go on. It's all right, bro. There we go. Oh, I love that effect. Yeah? That's got to be... Goose? Goose. Goose feather? No. Miles away. Is it? Yeah. Look. It's a very specific part of a mouse. Brain? Heart? No. no. Anus? I, I, there you go. Yes. Come on, mate. Now, what would you call that? If you had to sell that to people and give it a catchy name, and I hope it's not better than mine, but what would what name would you give that to sell? The Star of an AC. What? The Star of an AC. Yeah, because there's that thing, isn't there? What the fuck is that? Is that mean? thing you put in cake, Star of an AC. Okay. What's yeah. that herb called? I don't know. And I know what you mean. You can't go back to Star of an AC or something. A N I S E. Yeah, you know I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. What did you call it? I like that though. It's a star of a new or something. I call it Star Soul. Star Soul is great. Thank you. That is brilliant. Star Soul no. is very good. I don't know why a I bit would... less niche than Star of a new Yeah, no, I imagine <laughs> having to I explain would... that one. Oh, that's for the highbrow man. <laughs> <laughs> the highbrow gentleman. <laughs> by a mouse's anus. Oh, no. Lots of Star Soul. Lots of Star of a new I like that. That's cool. Yeah, it is the. So this one might be a bit much for you, bro. Oh, uh, just no. as well. I, think, I don't think it will. I think this will be. I think you'll like this. But one. it is disembodied. But you have been it's not warned. Like a full you know, animal, does it have eyes? Not real. Like, it's got googly eyes, mate. I put googly eyes on them all. So there you go. <laughs> Broken him. Can you describe what you see in there, Jamie? It's a severed chick's head on a pair of big tits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the tits bobble a bit. <laughs> it's a duckling, a duck, little duckling. Yeah. Well, do you know that's answered like the age-old question: which way round would you fuck a mermaid? And a lot of people go for the the lady's body because yeah. you get the vagina. But I couldn't fuck a fish head. No, no, no. That's definitely the wrong way around. Is, is that the normal way around? I think most people will go with like Ariel from the Little 
mermaid rather than a big the giant other version. half a fish head and a minge. Because <laughs> you could just drag a big fish. Isn't it? Just <laughs> cut a hole in the fish. Cut a fish in half. Yeah. Or three quarters if you're lucky. I feel like it's looking at me. <laughs> what do you think this one's called? This one's got a great name. Oh, go on. Chick with a duck. <laughs> it says chick with a dick. Oh, <laughs> right. Professional comedian Jamie yeah. Hutchinson there. <laughs> Slow on puns. <laughs> Two of a dog's got there. Um, Would you shag a fish, though, if it was just a decent sized fish? As in decent as in hefty. Not like I'm not saying suggesting you like big women, but just a big fish you get your hands around it, but it's got human tits. Oh. Well, because you're saying you like the tits, so would that be enough? Or how much of how much of a person do you that, need on the fish? Like, it's not that I love the tits; it's that I don't like the fish head. Right. So, <laughs> so a human head on a fish would be enough of a percentage of a person on a mermaid. Yeah. How much? How much fish? Like, are you got like, a, like fish, a fish head? I think I could deal with that if it was just a woman's body and a fish head. But if it was half fish, or what about a fish's leg? head with a person's face, or a human head with a fish face? It's just a human head with just skin and an eyes on the side of the head, so it's yeah. humanoid. But if it's got hu- if it's got human eyes, if it's got the love in their eyes, like a barnyard animal kind of thing. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If it's got doting eyes. If uh, your you want it to be able to show fear. If your girlfriend who um, well actually will watch this turned into half a fish woman, would you still go out with her? I'd love her relentlessly, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love her if she, if she was a pencil case with a sharpie on her ass. <laughs> Jack, what um, part of your girlfriend have you turned into an animal? <laughs> Just the feet. Just the feet. I like the idea of hoof so you can know when she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Does she, is she, because you said the first time you did taxidermy was with her. Is she yeah. still into it? Yes, every now and then she'll come and help me out. She's been working re- normal jobs, so where she can't really, weirdly, in like mental health and stuff, so she can't really be found out to be coming to my off- my, my studio and harvesting mouse testicles for me and that. But that's what she's done for me in the past. I just give her a pile of dead mice and be like, I need the bollocks and kidneys out of them. So she'd, she'll whip them out for me. So yeah. do you have to, like, fillet them and stuff as well? Uh, yeah, no, no. So I buy the rat. It's a whole rat. All its insides are in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Skin the rat, and then if I want to use the organs to make bits like that, or like take the intestines out of a mouse, put them in a love heart, then you just sort of break the flesh part of it, and then the organs are all inside it. What triggers is this first try out? I was looking. Oh, I wanted to impress me missus. Which is this felt like a nice way to do it, <laughs> and it was something to do as well. We've been at my mum's, so I live down in Devon now, but. We would uh we was at my mum's and we'd been there for about a week and we were a bit bored and we were looking on eBay at weird shit and there was loads of people doing taxidermy who thought they were mint at it, but it, they weren't. And they didn't do it with like any sense of irony or anything like that and they were charging oh, well bad. over the odds. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I could do this better because I'd been in a butcher's. I know I'm good with a knife in it, so oh, I thought I could yeah, do that. Of course, yeah, yeah. And then as we got it, my mum came back and was like, yeah, there's a frozen mouse for you. I didn't know she was going to come back with it. If she'd never brought that back, I probably I never would have tried it. Parents, like, <laughs> mm. really push, a bit pushy. A bit <laughs> pushing you into it. Mm. <laughs> On the sidelines, <laughs> shouting at everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Taxidermy competition. <laughs> Not pushing fur! <laughs> um, how far... Is there like a taxidermy World Cup or like a World Championships or anything? There's championships, yeah, but I think they're in America. And I, honestly, I don't think I'd do very well. I don't know if they have like a novelty round. Where Ooh, like, if they did like a bake-off of taxidermy, I think I'd be better as the host rather than a competitor. Oh, no, bake-off of taxidermy. It sounds like a show that we need to pitch. Or the comedian's trying to taxiderm something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for standards of cancer. Fucking mint, that. <laughs> Imagine the vegans coming after us. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm pitching that show tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> definitely six months away from that, aren't we? I think that's, I think that's definitely a special we could make. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll miss that one. <laughs> um, our, so I, I assume you're not like a vegetarian or a vegan. Right? No, no, never even, never even dabbled. No. Not even at uni or not, you know. Are they, are they like your biggest sort of critics then? Vegans, yeah. Dead, 
Yeah, yeah, because you're not killing it. No, are yeah, but they don't I, like it. They think this causes a market for it. They think me making a few pencil oh, cases right. a month out of a rat is making some guy somewhere be like, oh, yeah, bit of an uptake here. And then somehow maybe forcing the rats on each other to make more rats. Because they can only make so many rats, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's not, not like there's a... It's not the famously not a shy animal from shagging, are they? Exactly, yeah, there's too no, many, if anything. Yeah. And how many pencil cases do people need? Uh-huh. Pencil cases are outdated. But well, you need laptop bags. That's what you need That's to That's a shout, don't Yeah. What, what, so, what, what animal do you think would be a good laptop bag? It'd be good to about take about five squirrels, so like flatten them out, so about five squirrels together, and then have all their arms and legs still loose on it, just not stuffed, just so they can flick around. Because you could use the limbs as like cables, pockets. Mm-hmm. Zippers as well. Yeah. Mouse, mouse, mouse mat. I've never made a oh. mouse mouse mat. Someone does make rug rats though, which uh, mouse mats made out of rats. I've seen yeah. that before. But I do make little memory sticks out of mice. <laughs> USB memory sticks. Initially, I made them so they were like 64 megabyte, and then I realised that shit, no one can use it. So I started doing 32 gig ones and so people can actually use them for like school and uni and work and that. <laughs> you imagine turning up at uni with that. <laughs> with that. I mean, surely a mouse, just a mouse mouse. It's been done. Has People it? have done that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a bit on the nose that one. It's a bit yeah, like the one hundred and one, really. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't want to copy it in it because then I'd look like a cunt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like stepping on someone's toes and. See that bedding. Bedding. <laughs> bedding would be rank, mate. That. Really. I think they'd be hanging. Wow. I mean, maybe like a nice big cow skin if it's all one piece. But I think there's going to be a little, and it'd take a lot of ages. If I made like a bed sheet out of rats, like a nice fitted sheet with yeah, elastic around the edges. For... I, th- I, see, think I think you need a horrible. big animal like like a, a bear or like, yeah, like a furry yeah. bear or something. They used to be things, didn't they? Like rugs made out of bear. Yeah, yeah, you'd have that. But I don't know if they were making like bed sheets out of it and lying on it and that. And Especially yeah. if like longer hair would be all right, but short hairs. You get them short hairs in your ass crack or in your foreskin or something, you're going to know in the morning, aren't you? You're going to have a little bit of a... Itch. Yeah, at least. See, now everything I buy in the next week, I'm going to think, what would be the best animal to make this out of? Yeah. Could I fit this in a hamster? Yeah, is that what, is that what your life is like now? Because this is your... Yeah, I don't yeah. Know if this is your obsession, your full-time job. Yeah. Is it, you just constantly thinking, what can I make out of that, or what can I make that into? Yeah, man, supermarkets, farms, zoos, it's all the same. Looking at stuff on supermarket shelves, being like, I reckon I could fit that in a rat, you know. <laughs> would that be funny? What's, where's a pun there? Is there a pun? I'll be walking around. If I don't think of one by the time I leave, it's never going to get me. How many pelicans to make a cement mixer? <laughs> well, like Flintstones <laughs> style, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> freaking Flintstones. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, maybe you should yeah. watch the Flintstones. I bet you get loads <laughs> of ideas out of copy the Flintstones. <gasps> Pelican gullet water bombs. Yeah. Water pistols, mate. So you can pump the... Yeah. So you pump up the beak like that. Oh. The gusset, no, the gullet thing. Not the gusset. You know the pool noodle things? Yeah. Like a snake out of a pool noodle. What's a pool noodle? You know like the big floats, like the big long mm. like noodles that you have in a pool? Oh, like big... Like you said, like a big floppy stick. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Or oh, what about um, the things outside car dealerships? <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> lots of snakes. A giraffe. <laughs> would be good. The giraffe would be nice. The snakes would be good though if they weren't sewn up, so they do just fucking flail. Yeah. So you people are looking at, what the fuck is that? And they all get close and then react like you. Yeah. And then you shit themselves when it gets like them. Figure out what it is. Have you contacted zoos to get like mad animals? Never zoos. Only uh, cat sanctuaries. Tried cat sanctuaries when I was first early on in it. Um, never tried a dog sanctuary. I've tried ringing pest controllers and they don't take you seriously evil. No. Orphanages would be good. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fucking mint, mate. <laughs> Little suitcases. <laughs> I think then maybe you are making a mark out of it. Yeah, got, got a little kid yeah. as a bookend. I, I think you need to go a bit further back. Abortion clinics. <laughs> yeah. Do you make it out of a fetus? Just pop them in little jars, mate. If you could put... <laughs> put mate, your feet in a fetus. <laughs> if you could put mate. fetuses in jars, you'd make a fucking fortune, mate. People would love oh, yeah, like baby right. heads in jars. There's, there's got to be a rule against that, right? I would have hoped so. Yeah, yeah. No. Condoms out of fetuses. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The circle of life. Yeah. It's become everything I hate. <laughs> the circle of prevention. <laughs> or not even the, not even as to wear as a Johnny, just still in the Johnny packet. And then when you get back and if you've had like a change of mind, you're a bit of regret setting in, maybe sobering up, you just open it up and show it to them. 
Oh, yeah. It's works. It's I've contraception. Me, yeah, yeah. People run away. From here's me little embryo here. <laughs> Again, rape victims. <laughs> if a woman's carrying a fetus around with her, people are going to stay away from her. Yeah. Especially if it's not her own. Yeah. Because yeah, you'd think yeah. you'd keep your own for sentimental reasons, yeah. wouldn't it, maybe? Why is she carrying that fetus? It looks nothing like her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about a desk fan? That'd be pretty nice. With wings. Oh, yeah, you want some bats. As the bats. Fan, some bats as each panel and just flinging around that like that. That would look pretty nice. So. Yeah. Bat wall chimes because they hang upside down. What yeah. made so the dingers are made out of bone? Oh, uh, a doorbell with a rooster. <laughs> Could you what, make so a... you put your finger in the rooster's oh, arsehole ah! on the door and then on the inside <laughs> of the house is a chicken's head squawking? <laughs> it's better than, and you could call it wing instead of ring. Yeah, yeah. wing doorbell. Wing, door wing the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about going back to bats could you make you know the Batman signal light but with a bat like a massive fruit bat yeah, just yeah. strapped to a bulb yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyone could really innit? I don't think I'd need to do much for it a bit yeah, of like no hot glue gun and just to capture a rat I know anyone could even. I don't think anyone would but I think you might <laughs> I wouldn't mind innit? imagine who'd turn up though as well who's coming <laughs> <laughs> shove it up there <laughs> Yeah, Christian no. Bale. <laughs> what about dentures with tortoise shells? Yeah. Oh, see, it's funny you mentioned dentures because just as I was leaving the house, my dad went, I've got something for you and put something in my hand and it was a sandwich bag with his old like, rotten dentures. And I, they're actually in my car. I was going to bring them in to show you, but I thought maybe that's a bit much because they're not clean. I'd have loved to see that. Oh. What are you going to make out then? I might make another puppet like the fox's head. Because I've also got one of his lower sets of old dentures, but this is a full set. Oh, like so now I can have could, them. Oh, put joke teeth on like a fucking mole. Yeah. Mm. So, God, just going back a little bit. Mm. Did your dad give you his dentures to make things out of, or was it just is originally? He, is he a very yeah, but, strange man? Oh, he is a very. He, I, actually, I, he just took a massive shit as well. He's been holding up the bathroom and just took a big shit, and I was having a go at him, being like, "You've not even flushed that." And then he's I like, flushed the toilet, and it stayed there. I'm fucking dentures. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I was, I, I was being like, "You've not even flushed the shit. That's why it smells." Run out of sheet roll. <laughs> <laughs> just picking it up. It's not even mold on the dentures. <laughs> Have you ever thought about getting a job at a zoo? And then you I wanted to... to be a vet. Right. I, that's what I really wanted to be. And then I got told at college, you're not bright enough. Yeah. Like, they sat me down and was like, mate... Well, they didn't say mate, but they were like, look, you're you're not going to be yeah, a you vet. You keep making that's earrings out of people's <laughs> hamsters. That's, yeah. like, <laughs> that's like the origin story of a supervillain. Oh, this is just a huge yeah. vengeance thing. <laughs> oh, I can't be a vet, but I'll show them. <laughs> that's a sick villain. Idea. <laughs> I'm going to just... Embarrass these animals for all eternity. But turning tits on back him. up at college, going, I never brought them back, but they still look at them. <laughs> <laughs> just bags of them. I this one looks like it's alive. <laughs> Make a defrib thing out of a dead animal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like to, it, it, I think oh, I was going to say turtles, but you said turtles. Alligators right? just for the the wordplay. You can get the later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I never yeah. gave up on this animal. I think that I think there is a market for novelty defibrillators. Oh, <laughs> needles out of wash stings. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know how useful they are. <laughs> Just uh, the infections as well. Scientific. Yeah. Um what about pliers but with like scorpion's claws? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Little pinchy things. Wasp wasp sting toothpicks. Yeah. yeah, I think you won't, to break, you won't want that to break off in your tooth because then you're going to mess with it with your tongue, aren't you? And your tongue swells up and you die. Yeah, but if you put the right like residue around it, made it like do like, you with these? So yeah, it's make it reusable and that yeah, as well. Yeah. Do you make cutlery? Nah, I've never Cause, made cutlery. Because you've got the toilet brush with the handle, yeah. so you could make the handle of cutlery with like, you know, whatever legs, legs, thin legs. Yeah. Yeah, just the same as the day one, really, but a little fork on the knife end. at the end. That'd be that'd be terrifying. To Camel get hooves for small bowls. Yeah, little, like Bowl tapas bowls. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What would you make out of a dolphin? It'd be good to attach it to one of them Sibian machines, wouldn't it? Because they always say dolphins are like big into shagging. So you just replace like the the long snout of it with a dildo, and then it's just on a fucking. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a dolphin wand. Yeah. And you've got the blowhole. Yeah, the dual use. For so couples. Man. It's couples. Yeah. Couples yeah. dolphin wand. Or maybe for like couples that are cheating but don't still feel a bit sort of morally wrong about it. They're a bit like, this is questionable, this, but if we both fucked the dead dolphin machine, we're not touching each other, but we can still make eye contact. You could use a shark fin as triangle for the snooker club. Yeah. yeah just right. hollow it out. Going back to the dolphin thing, that mm. this bloke and the woman want to shag a dolphin, but they don't want to bring another person into it. How do you approach that subject? No, no, it's not that they don't want to bring another person into it. They're both cheating on their respective partners with each other. It's an affair. Right. But they're still like, I don't know if we should be doing this. Because that's what something you hear about cheating, isn't it? People are like, well, I don't know if we should be doing this. And then they get convinced by, you know, however, I don't know, tickling them the right way or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've never tried it. But they fucking, and then they're like, well, well we can buy this dolphin. Yeah. And like, you have the all, I'll have the dildo. Oh, it's so like, you know, we'll, we want to introduce new people into. The thing is to stop you from shagging about. I've got you this dolphin blow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put it on the radiator for half an hour first, so it's not cold when you're using it. Cause you don't want to start that off in them, do you either? Yeah. They're like, oh no, no, I like you, it when it's cold now. If you put like a kid's face on it, you could stop pedos. You could yeah, I mean, go out for practice on this. tattooing, tattooing little kids with like paint splurts underneath them instead of getting like the dolphin with the water spurt tattoos. You could yeah. also catch pedos. <laughs> Yeah. use a little dolphin as a trap it's got a kid's face in it and very very, <laughs> that's very, that's short, pedos, sight, very short sighted pedos will go oh look at that kid with his glow hole I'm going to fuck that look at that disabled child mate. Yeah. but then you'll get paedophiles going around black pill like trying you know the little kids in the sweets they go I've got some fish flakes <laughs> <laughs> got some tuna <laughs> all the kids jumping over <laughs> got some tuna chunks <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been very interesting talking to you. I'd call the machine Fapper. I just oh, thought yes. I yeah, got the yeah. flipper film. That'd be very good. Mm. Uh, that's the end of this episode. Um, it's been an interesting one. Go and check out World Around You. Yeah. Man. Y-E-W. E-W-E. E-W-E. It, World Close. Around You. Around You like a sheep. Like oh, sheep. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Was it you? Oh, it's a tree. Girl sheep. And the, and the tree, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Why yeah I thought you knew about all that, you tree. Operation <laughs> new tree. The um, scourge of your life for yeah. the last few years. Go and try it world around you about, I wonder, what's your page on Instagram? Or if you world want. around you. Oh, Everything's world around, world around, around, around you. Everything that. Sweet. And if you've liked this episode, we've got some bonus episodes on buy me a yes. coffee slash, uh, what we call Buy me a coffee slash the crisp sessions. You can get six bonus episodes for five pounds, which is a bargain. They are maybe the silliest conversations that's ever been recorded on the internet. And we've just had this. <laughs> and we've just had this, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so check that out. I'm announcing a tour extension, not when this is out. I'm ex- announcing a tour extension at the end of November, early December for the spring. So check me out on yeah. my personal page. Nice. Enjoy. Bye. See you later.